The animation starts with the news of strange abductions occurring in Gotham City, reporter shows a spooky footage of a guy getting kidnapped by someone wearing black cloak. It is believed to be Batman. Later that night, another person, a lady who missed her bus, gets scooped up by the same cloaked figure. The mysterious figure leaps through buildings while carrying the woman, but Green Lantern shows up to save the day. He stops the cloaked figure, who drops the woman in an attempt to get away. Green Lantern acts quickly and saves the woman by creating an elevator. He takes it back up to the rooftop, carefully dropping the woman to safety. As she steps out of it in horror, she asks him, what do you want? Green Lantern, a bit disappointed, leaves her on the rooftop and flies away to capture the mysterious figure, but he's ambushed from behind. Their scuffle unveils that the mysterious cloaked figure is, in fact, a monstrous being from another world. The monster nearly takes out Green Lantern, but the caped crusader, Batman, jumps into action. Batman tries to get some answers, but the demon surprises him by spitting fire. Green Lantern manages to incapacitate the demon by hurling a locomotive engine at it. However, the creature recovers and makes a quick exit, attempting to evade the pursuing heroes. The chase leads them into the sewers, where Green Lantern, under the impression that Batman is a vampire with super strength, mocks him upon discovering that Batman lacks any superpowers. Their attention is diverted by a peculiar sound. Investigating, they witness the demon extracting a box from its chest and affixing it to the wall. Concerned it might be a bomb, Green Lantern rushes in to intervene. Unfortunately, the demon utters a final cry, for Darkseid, and detonates. Green Lantern, quick on his feet, shields himself and Batman by conjuring a protective vault. As they step out of it, Green Lantern seizes the opportunity to tease Batman once more. Despite the banter, they examine the box to ascertain its origin and purpose, but the mystery eludes them. Batman suggests turning to Superman, the alien from Metropolis, for answers given his extraterrestrial background. They decide to seek Superman's insights on the matter. At Star Labs we see a group of scientists led by Silas Stone, examining a similar box, which is commonly known as the Mother Box. The team concludes that the box is some kind of communication device, as it is transmitting signals to numerous other similar boxes around the globe. Silas gets a call from Flash, who updates him on the findings. Silas believes he can extract more information from the box. Right after the call, Silas gets a notification on his phone about his son's football game, an event he had promised to attend. Despite the familial obligation, Silas, driven by the urgency of his work, makes the decision to overlook the notification and immerses himself back into the laboratory, prioritizing the investigation over the personal commitment. Outside the stadium, a young boy sneaks inside after deceiving the security, claiming the people coming from behind are his grandparents, with his ticket. He enters and sits on the seat Victor has reserved for his father. Victor single-handedly wins the game for his team. Washington, D.C., Wonder Woman, arrives at the president's residence only to be met with a surprising sight, a group of protesters. Wondering what could possibly be the cause of their discontent, she steps outside to address the crowd. To her astonishment, the protest is about her. Apparently, some regular folks are intimidated by her, and they claim she dresses inappropriately. This strikes a nerve with Wonder Woman, and she decides to get to the bottom of it. She approaches one of the protesters and inquires about their concerns. The protester hesitates but eventually spills the beans, revealing that the real issue is his own jealousy. It turns out, he's a crossdresser who enjoys donning a Wonder Woman outfit at night because it makes him feel powerful. Amused by the unexpected confession, Wonder Woman decides to lighten the mood. Rather than getting upset, encourages him to embrace his true self and leaves the protesters with a smile, proving that truth and self-acceptance can be empowering for everyone. The scene shifts to Metropolis City where Batman and Green Lantern, ever the banter buddies, land to interrogate Superman about the mysterious box. Batman, being the ultimate detective, had been tracking Superman through his satellite. Superman, having tangled with a demon before, suspects their involvement. In a fit of superhero gusto, he launches a ferocious attack on Batman and Green Lantern. Batman, quick on his feet, throws a smirk and calls Superman Clark suggesting a level of camaraderie. Superman, not to be outdone, scans Batman and casually drops a Bruce bomb. 
Amidst the banter, they dive into a discussion about the peculiar box and the ongoing abductions, only to conclude that none of them has a clue. They form an alliance to crack the case. Meanwhile, at Apocalypse, Desaad informs Darkseid that the superheroes have captured some demons and mother boxes, and now they are investigating the matter. Desaad suggests to fast track their invasion to catch the superheroes off guard. Upon hearing this, Darkseid orders to commence the invasion. At Star Labs, a frustrated Victor Stone arrives and expresses his disappointment in his father for not attending his game. Silas Stone brushes him off, saying he is busy, and his work is more important than Victor's football game. Silas believes such games would hold no significance in a world full of superheroes. This breaks the kid, but it is what it is. Moving back to the trio of Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern, they are discussing the mysterious kidnappings when suddenly the mother box activates. Lantern throws it away, thinking it is about to explode, while Victor grabs the box in anger and says that this piece of tech is more important than his life. Unfortunately, right at that moment, the box explodes in his hands, leaving him fatally wounded. Silas grabs his son and takes him to the emergency room to save his life. He places him on a high-tech medical bed and injects him with nanotechnology to heal his wounds, but unfortunately, it does not work. The box technology embedded in his body during the incident starts grabbing metal around it, transforming him into cyborg. He then attacks the monsters, saving the scientists and his father. Flash also lends him a hand in doing so. Thousands of demons emerge from the boom tubes, attacking everyone on sight. Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern try to fight as many as they can, but the demons keep coming. Air Force One, the president's plane, is also attacked by the demons, but Wonder Woman appears and takes them down. Cyborg connects with a boom tube, and through it, he learns about Apocalypse, Parademons, Darkseid, and his plans. Batman, Green Lantern, and Flash are occupied in battling the demons when Wonder Woman and Superman arrive and knock out a few. Green Lantern calls dibs on Wonder Woman in the midst of what might well be the end of the world, kids, this is what you call a superhero. Even if the world seems to be coming to an end, if you see a lovely girl, don't forget to call dibs on her. Cyborg arrives and tells them about their plan of terraforming the Earth. As they are having this conversation, Batman points out that the sea is on fire. It is at this moment that Darkseid arrives with all his might. Green Lantern attacks him first, but Darkseid punches him off. He then grabs Superman by his cape and throws him away. He breaks off Green Lantern's arm and overpowers each and every one of the heroes. He is probably the toughest villain they have ever encountered. Darkseid shoots his Omega Beam towards Flash and Superman. Flash runs fast and dodges the Omega Beam, but Superman gets hit and knocked unconscious by it. A parademon then carries Superman away. Batman stops Green Lantern from going after the parademon, as he will fail with an already broken arm. Batman then unmasks himself and confesses that the murder of his parents inspired him to combat evil. He suggests working with others to keep Darkseid and his minions occupied. He then allows himself to be captured by a parademon to rescue Superman and asks Green Lantern to work with the other heroes in taking down Darkseid until he gets back. Lantern returns to the rest of the Justice League and suggests that they should disable his eyes first so he cannot shoot his Omega Beams. Cyborg adds that he can send the parademons and Darkseid back to Apocalypse as he can connect with the mother boxes. They formulate a strategy to attack Darkseid. Batman arrives at Apocalypse and sees all the humans getting transformed into parademons. There, Desaad is busy in terraforming Superman into a super parademon. Shazam ruins the attack by alerting Darkseid prior to it. Wonder Woman hits Shazam for ruining their plan. Batman grabs Desaad and orders him to release Superman, but Desaad calls for backup. The heroes make another attempt, and Wonder Woman successfully sticks her sword in one of his eyes. Superman eliminates Desaad and starts attacking Parademons and Batman. A more pissed-off Darkseid grabs Wonder Woman and beats her brutally. After a lengthy battle, Flash takes down his other eye. Even after getting both eyes popped, he is still fighting the heroes. Cyborg connects with the mother box and starts sending the parademons back. A boom tube opens and starts pulling Darkseid, but he refuses to go back and fights the heroes. Superman gets back and starts attacking Darkseid. 
Superman and Wonder Woman push him into the boom tube, and Cyborg closes it, successfully sending Darkseid back. Cyborg opens the boom tubes to bring back the captured humans, and they all gather to appreciate the heroes for saving them. The next day, the heroes are honored by the president for their service. The end. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you've stayed this long.